guest, very talented comedian who is headlining the Punch Comedy Show at the Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas, on May 29th. Please welcome the very funny John Ramsey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. I, uh, I had a conversation the other day that frustrated me because the person I was talking to argued that racism is dead. And I know that's not true because my grandparents are still alive. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm kind of waiting for racism to die so I can get a new truck. That'd be nice, though, in the future, if we all get along and the people in the future don't know what we dealt with. But that's how we are with Ancient Man. Like, we don't know their daily struggles and tragedies. Like, we have no idea how many good men had to die, vomit, or hallucinate before we came across the portobello and button mushrooms. <laughs> and even that guy had to be like, are these really good, or am I just still imagining things? <laughs> but that was a trial and error process that mankind had to go through to figure out, like, what was edible, and what would leave a family fatherless? And I'm, I'm glad to be alive today. And I'll tell you what, when I think about that, I got a lot of respect. A lot of respect for the first guy to dig into a pineapple. <laughs> have you seen a pineapple? I would have guessed poisonous. I might have guessed reptile on the pineapple. That's a ferocious piece of fruit. And yet somewhere way back way in the gauntlet of time, some guy came across a pineapple and was like, I don't know. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me? <laughs> but what I do know is that that must end up here via this. <laughs> and he ate it. And he was rewarded with golden deliciousness and the respect of all the village. And the guy eating the pine cone the week before was like, oh, so close! <laughs> I think we're still having problem with fruit today in the 21st century. I am, I'll be honest. I cannot get the timing right on bananas. They will turn on you. <laughs> Don't buy bananas unless you have definite, immediate, and unshakable plans to eat bananas. <laughs> like, I won't even go by the banana aisle unless I've committed myself to eating bananas while I buy bananas. <laughs> so I used to go to sort of some vague notion that I might want a banana in the future. And I'd go to the banana aisle and I'd be like, which one? of you bunches of bananas has the combination I need of yellow and green and yellow-green. <laughs> Pick out some beautiful yellow bananas, I buy them. By the time I get them to the car, one of them's already like... John, you might want to hurry up. <laughs> like, what the heck? You know, I, I race home, I try to avoid speed bumps, but I can't help it. I live next to a school. I'm packing my, my groceries, I get the banana, that banana's just like... John? What do you know about making banana bread? I mean, don't you talk like that. What I really came here to say is that I'm tired of being treated like an idiot because I believe in unicorns. <laughs> it's a horse with a horn. Why is that so magical, right? It's not like I believe in centaurs. There's all kinds of questions with centaurs, like, like how does a human heart pump blood to a horse body, right? Is it rude to charge a pet deposit? <laughs> if you ride one, is that horseback or piggyback? There's all kinds of questions with centaurs. I'm talking about the horse with a horn. Why wouldn't that exist? Like, you know what lives out there? Weird things, like in the deep sea. There's things like 90% nostril, 10% desk lamp, and they're so ugly. It's like, are they ugly because they're down there or down there because they're ugly? But they're down there. You know what else is down there? A seahorse. That's 50% fish, 50% horse. And I'm just talking about something that's 99% uh, horse, one percent cooler horse. You know, since down there, there's a narwhal in the deep sea. That's a whale with a horn, and no one makes fun of you because you have a narwhal on your trapper keeper at work. Like what? 
is with this smear campaign against unicorns. People are like, what, John? What? What? Do they poop glitter? I'm like, uh, if they eat glitter, like, like, like what, John? What? What? Do they fart rainbows? I'm like, if there's moisture in backlighting, that's science. Thanks, guys. You convinced me. <laughs> Those great arguments. John Ramsey, that was really funny.